Following a disappointing campaign last year, Liverpool are going to be wanting to bounce back and return to their winning ways. To do that, they're going to need to invest in promising young talent. They've already got Alexis McAllister through the door, but it now it appears there may be another. Dominic Sobzlai is a young Hungarian midfielder who comes from RB Leipzig. And now it looks like he's going to be the next player through the doors at Anfield. But how does he improve them? Today, we're taking a look. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button, like the video, and hit that notification bell. And with Without further ado, let's discuss Dominic Sobberslai and how he improves Liverpool Football Club. Here he is, Liverpool fans, Dominic Sobberslai. He is in this side, out on this right-hand side. And before you start having a panic attack, because I can sense you're getting concerned. I can sense it. Don't worry, he's not taking Salah's position. Salah's fine. He's still here, he's still playing, it's okay, nothing's going to happen to him. However, Salah played 38 games last season, and that's the most that he's played in a season in the Premier League for four years. He hasn't played every match in the Premier League for four years, and I think it's going to take his toll on him. He's 31 years old, and I think Jurgen Klopp's looked at this situation and looked at the way that they went forward at certain times, and they did start to have something of a brick wall put against them out on this right-hand side. If you were to rotate Salah in certain positions, or even just give him a rest when you're 2 or 3-0 up, I think it would keep Salah fresh, and it would also make this right-hand side that little bit more potent. Speaking of Mo Salah, we can also tell you that Zobzlai has a dribble percentage of 56%. Now, that's not bad at all, especially when I tell you that Salah's dribble percentage is 41%. Now, obviously, you can claim that that's because Salah's in the Premier League and because Zobzlai is in the Bundesliga, and that's all fine. But he also has a general ground dual percentage win rate of 52%. In comparison to Salah, whose is 36%. And all of a sudden, you start to see certain quirks about Sobers Light. He's very strong. He's very good with the ball at his feet. He can drive into the box. He can drive with players. He also averages 1.5 tackles per 90. Now, that is very good for either an attacking midfielder or a winger not bad at all. So what can you expect from him? You can expect for him to be driving through down towards the byline. He cuts inside. He's good with the ball at his feet. Right-footed, crossing the ball into the box for the striker. It could be Hakpo. It could be the likes of Diogo Jota. We can always see different permutations, but I think his link-up play is very good. And when you think about the side that he played at Leipzig, he played as part of almost a wide two in front, behind a set of two strikers and his link-up play with them was very good he drifted inside quite a lot which allows for the opportunity for the central attacking midfielder if they play a 4-3-3 to go and take his position the rotation that he would allow because he understands the game so well at the age of 22 is something that's very very exciting but there's also something else i want to show you take a look at this here we have the liverpool side that is or has a possibility of playing, I should say, with Sobers lie on the side. Yes, Mo Salah is in here. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. But let's just assume that Salah is unwell. He's unfit. He can't play. He's never going to be unfit, is he? He can't play at the moment. So Sobers lie is out on this right-hand side. And this is how the setup would work from an attacking point of view. We know that Trent now comes into midfield, so he's going to take up that centre midfield role. We also know that Van Dijk and Canate are going to be the main defensive pairing. Robertson likes to go forwards when Trent comes into midfield and Fabinho drops that little bit deeper to almost make a triangle with the two centre-backs. Harvey Elliott, we can assume he might play, will take up a role with Sobersley, who then will cut inside. That's what the lighter blue box is. The darker blue box is generally the heat map that he's going to be acquiring over the course of the 90 minutes. But generally when they go forwards and when they start to have some rotation, I think we got an indication of this last season when Henderson started to drive forwards and take up those spots out on the right-hand side. This allowed Salah to drive inside into the box. And what you almost saw was Salah just moving in like I'm doing with Sobersley here and then Harvey Elliott coming across. Not only does this 
baffle the defenders when they're trying to mark players and trying to make sure they're watching runs but it also enables further people to be inside the middle of the pitch this creates overloads where Liverpool are going to want to create those interlocking plays and of course you have the likes of Luis Diaz out on that right or the left hand side I should say and then he's able to come in towards the back post allowing Robertson to come through. Zobersly is a very clever player and with being only 22 years old I think there's room for improvement. He's got a lot of money about him and I'm not saying he's going to be the same player I'm not even saying he's going to be anywhere near as good but the point is that he has room for improvement and this is what Liverpool have done so well. They've picked up talent who have the option to get better. They have the ability to drive on and become better. And that's exactly what Jurgen Klopp does. In this side, he can drive with the ball at his feet, but also off the ball, he's very, very intelligent. Let me show you another scenario. Here he is out on this left-hand side. Salah is back in the side, but here we have Luis Diaz. We have the same ability, he can cut inside his right foot, perhaps that's a little bit more comfortable for him because he is obviously right-footed, Robertson can come and make those infield runs and the same thing can always go across just on the opposite side and it's his dynamism in different positions that I think is really going to help Liverpool going forwards. Finally, let's have a look at one more of these positions and this is something a little bit more radical. This is him in, him in the centre attacking midfield position. Obviously, we have the likes of Harvey Elliott, you have the likes of a Jordan Henderson who could start to drive forwards. However, Henderson is going to be transitioning out of the side. McAllister is obviously going to be out on this left-hand side. But when you have Mo Salah coming inside, I think Zobersly has the ability to really understand that he can come out to this right-hand side. And when that happens, and the rotation that could be allowed with the likes of Salah, you're going to see a more forward-thinking Liverpool. A side that is able to really pen players in, the rotation that Zobersly would be able to create is something that could allow Salah to get further into the box and closer towards goal, where, obviously, you want him. From a defensive point of view, as I've said, 1.5 tackles per 90 is extremely good for an attacking midfielder and it means that he could drop back that little bit more. He's got a good work rate on him. He had to at Leipzig because so much was being asked of him going backwards but also going forwards. He's an extremely good player and as I said, 22 years of age, you can't really go wrong with him. And in this Jurgen Klopp system, with this Jurgen Klopp style of play, I fully expect for him to have a massive, massive impact. If not this season, then definitely later on. But don't get me wrong, he's not going to be a bench player, he's not going to be a player that doesn't play. I think that he is going to play an integral part in Liverpool going in far in many, many competitions. Because what I actually think Liverpool want to do is I think, think they want to have two players for every position. So if we think about Sobosla, and Salah. We think about Hakpo and we also think about Jota. And then we think about Darwin Nunez and we also think about Luis Diaz. Two players, two attacking players for every single position. Before Sabah's light there was only Salah. And that became an issue, as I've previously stated. 38 games played last season because they didn't have any other rotational players. Harvey Elliott did come in to try and play that role. Was it the same? No, he didn't have the pace. He didn't have the driving power and he didn't have the force to be able to make it work. And I think the Liverpool have almost been working with it as best they can. Bring Somersley in and something different happens. Something changes. I think they become a completely different proposition and the strength and depth that they would have if they had him in the side or had him in the squad is something that is very, very scary indeed, especially for opposition. Liverpool fans, let me know how you're feeling about this signing and whether you think it would be a good addition. Where do you see him playing and do you agree with me on what I've been saying about how he might impact this Liverpool squad and team? Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. Please, if you're new, subscribe to the channel like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.